My father, Ken Baring, was always a visionary. And this really became clear when he developed the Black Hawk property. At the time, it was just rolling hills, 5,000 acres that he developed into one of the most stellar communities in all of the United States. My name is David Baring. My parents, Ken and Pat Baring, built this magnificent estate back in 1987. Once my father decided on this hilltop as a place to build his final estate, he assembled one of the finest teams of designers to come up with Falling Water. That was the name they gave it originally because it was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's majestic masterpiece, Falling Water in Pennsylvania. The landscape design for the Bering Estate was done by a gentleman named Kimio Kimura. He took the outside and he said, as soon as people come through, we want everything to feel integrated. And that's gonna to flow towards the house. You're gonna have waterfalls on the outside of the house integrated with waterfalls inside the house. Doug Dolan had been my father's longtime architect. My father had the utmost faith and trust in him. Then there was a world-renowned interior designer named Stephen Chase, who designed homes for a lot of the celebrities, movie stars, sports stars all over Southern California and other parts of the United States. They came together, they used the best of each other. Everything was chosen for some of the best material. They wanted everything to flow. The Brazilian teak wood, the Utah flagstone, the Idaho quartz. This house is not gonna look old in five years or 15 years or 30 years. Very few homes can have that set about them. The main part of the house is the family room. We have a large bar that can sit about 10 people. And this was our centerpiece for family gatherings. Everybody would fill up this entire room. And it's a wonderful room to accommodate 30 to 40 people. The primary bedroom was the focal spot for my parents to relax and enjoy their time. And in this bedroom, he wanted views. He really looks out on Mount Diablo. And that was his view every night when he went to bed. He also enjoyed having a very large open bathroom. And it had a ceiling that would actually open up to the sky. Then you go down and you first approach a magnificent wine cellar, holds 10,000 bottles. It's not this hidden wine cellar off to the side with a door that nobody can see. It was a wonderful place to be surrounded by 10,000 bottles of wine. And so my father enjoyed a lot of parties down there. And after you leave this wine cellar, you enter the ballroom. Granite floors, mirrored ceiling, nine crystal chandeliers. And you can also put your favorite cars down there. We've had as many as six classic automobiles. So it's designed for entertaining. My mother and father loved to have large groups of people. They enjoyed being part of the community. They enjoyed having friends and other people come and enjoy this ballroom. My father loved tennis from the time he was about 30 years old. So when he designed this estate, he made certain it had a tennis court. And that tennis court sits on top of the ballroom. And not many tennis courts are surrounded with views, as far as you can see, of open hills and Mount Diablo. Adjacent to the tennis court, we have a whole bar, kitchen, place for barbecuing, along with this giant, multi-tiled, multi-colored table. This is where we gathered for all of our picnics, barbecues, pool parties during the course of the last three plus decades. And one of the other really special features is above this table is a set of neon lights. And if you drive up to the estate at night, it's the first thing that catches your eye. You might see the sunset off in a distance, and then you see this special 
neon light fixture right there next to the tennis court. And then at night, it's fun to sit underneath and dine and look up at these lights. The Bering Estate is truly an architectural masterpiece. Carefully planned, carefully built, everything was meticulously designed, and there's nothing like it anywhere. And it's just been, it's been a privilege for me just to be part of this house over the last 35 years. Thank you.